Hi, I'm Nick from Quit With Nick, Behaviour Modification and Addiction Specialist. Now, the reason for this video is I want to share with you a very simple, a very powerful and effective technique for instantly dropping some stress from your body. You can use this technique for a number of things. You can use it to fight urges, cravings, drop stress from your body. You can use it to release this emotional baggage you might be carrying around with regards to certain aspects of your life. It's a really powerful technique. It's called EFT, Emotional Freedom Technique. And what it does is it utilizes the meridian lines that are running through your body. They're called Qi. Now the science behind this technique comes from traditional Chinese medicine, TCM. It's where chiropractic and acupuncture uh, come from. <clears throat> now, the idea is that there are certain energy flow systems in your body, just like how the nerves run through certain lines through your body, so does the energy flow, the life force that is called Qi. It runs through particular points in your body. Now, the idea in traditional Chinese medicine is that any ailment or dis-ease in your body, health problem, emotional problem, basically stems from a blockage of this energy running through your body. When everything is flowing the way it should without interruption, without any resistance, then you experience an overall state of well-being. But if in these, these particular energy flows through your body, these lines, there is any blockage, then you're going to experience an emotional or a physical manifestation of that blockage. So the whole point of acupuncture is to put needles in particular places in your body, very specific points, that release this energy flow to get it flowing again. Acupressure is about applying pressure a little bit deeper than just uh, touching it into those certain meridian lines to get the energy flow going again. Now, you can actually also stimulate this flow just by simple tapping, by just tapping in certain points while actually doing certain things and saying certain things. So I'll show you the technique here and you will instantly notice a reduction in how you're feeling about that particular thing. Now, here's the process. So just so you can see my body here, uh, it's important. So now what we're going to do, let's say... Let's just pick something simple, right? Like stress, an urge. Say you've got an urge to have a cigarette or eat that chocolate bar or an urge or craving of some sort. It's a kind of stress, basically. The first thing you want to do is give that urge and that craving a rating, a subjective rating out of 10. One being nothing at all. 10 being it's absolutely huge overwhelming and everything in between, obviously, right? So let's say, oh, it's a nine, oh, this urge, this stress, right? You give it a rating because then you're going to rate it at the end. You want to have some sort of scale to measure this against, right? Then what you do, now it might sound a little weird, this statement, but it is very purposeful on many different levels. You want to, you want to pick this first point while you're saying this statement I'm going to share with you in a little bit. The first meridian point is what we call the karate chop. It's right there on your hand. So obvious to see why it's called the karate chop. What I like to do is use both points like that. So as you're tapping this point, you're just tapping lightly, tap, 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 tap. You're going to say the issue out loud, but in a particular way. So it goes like this. Although I'm feeling this, and then you state the problem, I truly and deeply accept myself. So in this case, although I'm feeling this urge, I truly and deeply accept myself. Say it three times. Although I'm feeling this urge, this craving, this stress, I truly and deeply accept myself. Now obviously what you put after the although I'm feeling this, is whatever it is you're working on. So although I'm feeling this stress around money, I truly and deeply accept myself. Although I feel like there's never enough, I truly and deeply accept myself. Although I'm feeling hurt and resentful, I truly and deeply accept myself. So you get the point. Although I'm feeling X, whatever X is in, that, in this moment, in that moment, 
I truly and deeply accept myself. You only need to say it three times. And while you're saying it, you're tapping on that point. Then you're going to tap on these certain points that I'm going to show you. The first point you're going to tap is on the top of the head, right here. While you're actually stating the problem, you're saying it out loud, like this urge, this stress, this urge, you know, you're just tapping, just like this, tap about this pace, just tap, 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 this urge, this stress, you know, you only need to spend maybe, you know, five to 10 seconds, this urge, this stress, this anger, this resentment, whatever it is that is the problem, you're actually stating it out loud, you're actually getting it out, you're running that energy through these lines while you're tapping it to release it, basically. Then you move to these points right here. And these points all relate to certain parts of your body. If you know anything about reflexology uh, and meridian lines, they relate to certain parts of the body. So you're using these two points here, just between, just where your eyebrows would, would start. This urge, this craving, this urge. Five to 10 seconds, this urge, this craving. You're just stating a problem while you're just doing some tap, tap, tap. Then the side of the eyes, this urge, this craving, this anger, this whatever it is you're working on, right? Now it's ideal to say it out loud, but look, if you're in a place where you know you might feel a bit weird saying it out loud, you don't need to say it out loud. You'll still feel an effect, but it's so much better if you can say it out loud. The next place is under the eyes, right there, right under the eye socket. So we've gone from here to here to here to here, this urge, tap, 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 this craving, this craving, this urge. The next point is right here, just above the lip. This urge, this craving, is never enough. There's never enough money. You're basically saying the problem. This urge, this, cra this crazy urge, this crazy, uh, this anger, this frustration. The next point is just in that little dimple part in the chin, right there. This urge, this craving, this, that's the, uh, the, the next part. Then the next part is just where, you know, where you would have a, uh, the, a, a, a knot for a tie. You know, you can tap like this or you can just do this and just do this. Like this urge, this craving, this craving. And you're basically stimulating these energy flow and, this, and you're also the part of the, the organs that this, that that point relates to as well this urge, this craving, you know. The next part is right under here, relates to the liver, really good for letting go of anger. Right under here, this urge, this craving, just tap, 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 right under here, just, just where a, a bra line would be, just, you know, where your chest starts or finishes kind of thing, this urge. Then the next point, either side, left or right, doesn't matter, imagine, you're a doll sewn right in half and just about a few inches down from your armpit in the middle there, tap, 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 this urge, this craving, this urge, this urge, this urge, oh, this anger, whatever it is. And then just give it another rating out of 10. What does that feel like? Hmm. And I guarantee you that number will be less. If it hasn't gone down as much as you'd like it, just go through the sequence again. You can even randomly tap the sequences. This urge, this craving, this urge, this urge, this craving, this craving. Just tap on it, you know, saying the words, saying it out loud until that number will go down. You will actually feel more at ease and more calm. So that's a little tip for you to use when you go through it and you start learning it quickly. It'll take no time at all and you will feel a difference. That's Nick from Quit With Nick.